Level two. Oh boy. That is not actually a fast guy. They are regularly that fast. I thought for certain that he was going to be extra fast with the kind of speed he had. I need a key. He says two different things. There we go. I just like to take stock of things every now and again. I like our loadout. Six. Beautiful. Ah, baskets. What do you have to say? Chunk. Yet another basket. Going in this direction has become dangerous because that's where the minimap is. Kind of silly, frankly. Shouldn't have to worry about considerations like that. Yay, blunderbores! Or maulers, I guess they're called here, but. A classic guy is called Blunderbore, and they are great. They wield a man who is wrapped up in chains. I'm going to club you with a human body. That's just... Ugh. It's so perfect. They're also somewhat dangerous for minions, but... Nah, my... My Dave's gonna surround him easily enough. <laughs> That's... So many chests. Oh, Saul. Cool. Might actually use Saul. Not right away, but it is a component of something that we could certainly use. And so holding on to it for a very long time is worth the wait. The rune word in particular that I'm thinking of is called Sol Um Um. It's a patch 111 rune word for the Necromancer. Um, runes are way higher on the list than Saul, so we're... I think it's something like you're likely to find ten Sauls before you you'll find your first um. Something like that. Even still, Saul has other uses. Oop. Oh. Again, it must be rune knight. I can't even throw him away. Almost as if I have higher rune find somehow. Drop your meteor on me. Lift your wall under me. You'll never bring me down. Never bring me down. 
Dave on my side. Stay a while and listen. Vampire hide. I will take you down. Oh, we will take you down. Is Bosch still around? Bosch is still around. Aha! Yeah, Topaz I kind of want to keep rather than re-roll. And that was this one, right? Yeah, it was the 31. And since it's already providing... <laughs> Kind of a good benefit. <laughs> oh. Hey! <laughs> Just what I wanted. <laughs> what about you? You're junk. You can go away. Lightning resist. Lightning resist can stay. That needs to go. Now well, back to the damn vampires, I suppose. Naturally, having chosen wrong once and then the opposite way the next time, that will also have been wrong. There are some times, some very rare times, where Dave gets stuck in the doorway behind Zohar, but. All you really have to do is reel them in like I did just a second ago there. And you'll be moving right along. Oh, an Amun rune. That's what, number six? Jeez. I should sell them. Hold on. Am Amun should make Saul. If I get the gems for it, I could do three alms into a soul, three alms into a soul, three souls into a shale. And that would have a shale rune. Which I don't know what I would do with, so never mind. Should probably just sell the almond runes at this point. They're worth a fair penny. Master of the Rune Stone. Ah. Well, at least their first hits knocked me away, so they couldn't get a second one. That's pretty good, right? <laughs> That's like having a plan that doesn't involve me getting toasted or crushed. Toasted is far more likely. Skewered, also more likely than crushed. Time for coffee, maybe? No, not quite. Just a quick sip. Hope everyone is enjoying their beverage of choice. Ooh. Quaff it. Yeah, 85. Yeah, it must just be potions that do that. That's good to know. I did not know that. That is a new fact to me. Bonus from potions, but not shrines, will bump you over the maximum. This place, I tell ya. Oh, curiously enough. It was a long time ago, so I don't blame you for forgetting this fact, but... In general, you cannot drain from skeletons. If you have like a, here we go, like a life stolen per hit, that works on most monsters, but not on skeletons. Undead soul flayers, and undead stygian dolls and all them, they do not count as skeletons for this. You can still drain from them, it's, it's kind of weird. I honestly think that's an oversight, or perhaps a mercy. They probably figured, you know what? It's locked. This monster is already freaking deadly. Let's throw him a bone. <laughs> it's locked. I realize it's locked. No, Zohar! I got the five man beatdown. <laughs> Poor Zohar.
picked a bad time to teleport, buddy. I'll probably end up using one of those. That's right, we will take you down. We will burn you down. Like singing about killing vampires. If I could at all get Dave and Zohar to precede me to places, that would be the top. Sadly, they have to notice enemies. I can be a little foolish about this. I need a key. Good lord. Okay, is that an opening? It is. Hey. You know what? Sure. Let's let's identify our ring. Ah, life steal. Hmm. Come to think of it, there is another formula I could use. Pursuant to making a possibly useful ring. Have we found the end of it yet? Yes! My goodness. We have just one thing left to do in this horrible act. One act is left of us. Uh, is this everybody? This is everybody. It's hard to tell sometimes. Come on. Wind your way in, guys. Ah, that's probably enough coverage. Yeah, that's got him. Oh, a lum rune. Yeah, okay, I'll take it. By now, the Diablo heads are probably going nuts over my rune drops, but... To the most of you, it'll seem like, oh, this is normal. Yeah, he just got runes. Not like years ago he discovered a secret that has yet to be published on the internet or anything. Hmm, a pike. Is that 1463? I think that could possibly be better than this. 14... I forget whether this is the upgraded thing or not. Let's see. Card string 60, 45... It probably isn't. Doesn't. I mean, it doesn't sound fancy at all. I forget what the inputs are. I know that you need a ring and a perfect gem of a type. And then you'll be able to uh, make a ring of a specific resist, depending on what kind of gem it is. Yeah, that's not bad. Lost a Dave. Yeah, no. No new ones in sight. Mephisto basically doesn't have anything dangerous to me. I should have a coffee. And one. Got your baskets, too. 
Wouldn't that be just perfect, though, if you, like, kill Mephisto and then kick over a basket and the fire kills you or whatever? We're going to want that. The first time you kill these guys, act end bosses, that is, they have an improved drop. Hmm. I do technically have that many spaces in here, so let's see if we can fit everything. Inventory Tetris. Oh, those little spirit guys. I'm glad none of those popped up. They're independent of Mephisto and just sort of pop up and are annoying. That's the reason that you can't just go to sleep at the wheel there. Oh, well. Onward, onward. And like before, I'm afraid I don't have the cinematics disc. And Well, I, I do have the disc, but I haven't been able to get it to work. It just wouldn't. I don't really understand. Let's get everything identified and see if our plussed up Mephisto drops did us any good. The time has come for you to destroy Mephisto's soul stone. Take the stone to the Hellforge. Place it upon the forge, and strike it soundly with the hammer. Only by doing this can you prevent Mephisto from manifesting in this world ever again. What if I just held on to it? That wouldn't, would that be cool? Stay a while and listen. No? Ah, well. What do we get? Uh, junk. Plus two to war cries. This, that, that's that's something we want to keep. Oh, plus one to druid skills. Well, <laughs> we know what to do with that. So many almon runes. So many runes I don't actually need. I'm gonna have to clean that up sooner or later. Probably next time. I do not have. A great deal of time tonight to record, so that'll probably be all for for now. Greetings. Took us long enough. Mm, I want to keep that though. Now, well, sorry to whoever is a druid who wants that, but honestly, that's not all that great for you anyway. You'll find a better one. I am certain. And you know what? Get, get rid of this. I'd feel bad leaving it off with that, though. So let's, uh... Let's try some gambling. Nope. Mm, nope. Uh-uh. Finish it off with... Good old gambling session. Nope. No. Uh-uh. No, thank you. Almost, but no. Okay, let's see if I can, can do this slightly more. No. Not there. I know I'm high enough level for this. Ah, there we go. Yeah, a little over 50 grand to possibly have a replacement for my thing. Amazon skill levels. So sad. It sells back for most of what it cost, which is cool. How about now? Nope. I mean, we have a lot of money in the bank, so why not? And I can keep the other helmet around if I decide I need resistances. We'd probably even make another one if it comes to that. I don't want to trade. Yeah, let me ruin the encode by the end of this thing. That's what we're really doing. Oh, dang it, I was going too fast. That had a circlet in it. That's what I get.
There we go. Junk. Godly. <laughs> there was a, a joke that a friend of mine pulled a long time ago. See, godly is one of those words that Diablo 2 players would use just to generically mean the best items. So it's like, oh, I got some godly drops the other night, and that would mean you know, I got very, very good items that can almost not be replaced by anything that are like the best possible items that I could get or whatever. So it's just a, uh, a kind of colloquial shorthand for extremely good stuff. But godly is also the highest tier... Of, ooh, a circle of Corinda. Uh, mm. But godly is also a magic item prefix. That's the highest defense up that a, an item can get. So he just carried around like a godly full plate and would go into chats and be like, trading godly item. And then he would show them the, the godly full plate or whatever and they would have a laugh. That's all it took to tell a joke in Diablo 2. Oop. Hmm. I think we'll look for one more and then call it a night. It's important to know when to stop. I mean, on my own I'd stop when I ran out of money because what else, what else am I going to use the money for? Last one. Well, that's not doing it either. Although we are getting pretty high mods, so that's a good sign at least. This bothers me a lot. Yes, okay, I know. We'll pick up next time. Not for now, it's time to put everybody to sleep. So, good night, Zohar. Night, Zohar. Night, Dave. Night, Zohar. Good night, Dave. Good night, Zohar. Good night, Dave. Oh, good night, Dave. Night, Zohar. Night, Dave. Good night, Dave. Good night, Dave. Well done tonight, Dave. Good night. Good night, Dave. Guess you're okay, Bosh. You can stick around, even though you're nothing particularly special. But You know, I, I hate to just throw one away. He's so cute looking, too. Look at the little guy. Oh, he's happy. Let's pet him. Well, be careful about petting him. He's, he's thorny, but, you know, there's a, there's a craft to it. Good little guy. Good night, everyone.